Hi guys, welcome to Lovely Twin 22, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is the weekly what's going on with them commencing June 8 up to June 14, 2020. Each pass was arranged by singer Bill the Archangel and the angels say it's very important for us to know what's going on especially during the outbreak. It's gonna be an intense week for the feminines because it's our realization moment and for the masculines it is their time to make up their mind or decision if your person is ego based especially if they are masculines of course they might um, go off path but if a masculine is already awakened and standing in their power, they will choose the right choice for them. Either they will focus on career or either they will know now what they really want in love life. And the angels say it's important for us to be awakened, be aware because some people may think negatively about um, contemplation week, contemplation months, um, but it's helping us to purge the pain of the past and letting go of it and let God. It's because the angels say we need some awareness about our issues so we may be able to heal and we may be able to focus on what we need to, to learn from our, um, our past. What's important is right now, we are being called on by the divine to take a pause, especially for feminines. If it is your epiphany period or your awakening process, the angels say you will discover that you will have a hard time to speak, especially if you could be an influencer. Because I feel like the heaven is trying to make you an awareness um, that you need to share something and you need to purge some pain you need to understand certain things because you can't be a good communicator you can't be a good influencer if you don't know what you're talking about or if you don't have any awareness about certain topics that you're handling about the angels say um, what's important is with this um the angels say pay respect for this kind of moment of realization because it's your time to relax divine feminines and let go of your ego, let go of your issues if you really want to be on the go, especially if you have a job. The angels say this will just strike you during your rest period but it will not strike you during at work. But sometimes in some cases, the angels say, even at work, you might encounter people that will trigger you to heal something from your past and let it be and let God be receptive to anything of it because it will help you in your growth process. Um, is there anything else? They said, um, within this week, um, relax and prepare for break changes are coming your way, especially if your masculine will pick you. Let go of your ego, let go of your issues, the angels say, and stay focused on work, career, if ever you still have those. And if ever you have money issues, financial trouble, trust the divine that God will provide, the angels say. You may not see it coming yet, but the angels say the heaven is preparing you too. Because in some cases, we could be blocked from having abundance. Especially if you don't know how to save money. Especially if you're not yet wise in your decision making. And the heaven is making sure that the money that they will send you will go towards what you really need or towards practicality. To be honest, in social media, I browsed it yesterday that in a toy group, 
a certain individual was selling already his collection and um, he was saying there that having this kind of hobby is very hard and I feel like people are starting to wake up having realization of what is really important in life they're letting go of material things or material gains and focus on what they really need to work on to like saving money and being prepared in this time of trouble it's really a big awakening for humanity with regards to this pandemic and the angels say um that's what we need to embrace during these moments is what we need to learn from this pandemic and learn how to save money wisely or um, what they call this is spend wise, make wise decision in in money. And don't let money rule over you guys, the angels say. What's important is you are safe. Be grateful on the current gifts that you have. You may not have much now, but in the end, the angels say... Um, you will be fruitful because you learned your lessons already due to pandemic. And after this kind of situation, you will be a great person because you learn and you grow up and you became mature. And the angels say what's important right now um, during this healing work for feminines or for some masculines even, it's your time to take a break and enjoy. Um, I feel shower or summer. I don't know why I sense those things. Um, it's summer here. It's so very hot in the Philippines. But I feel like what they want to say is that stay grounded. And for summer, I feel like uh, for some of you, you're being called on. To go out the doors or at least some time out your house so you will have a sunshine because of course during quarantine we're stuck at home and of course it's natural um, healing for us as well whenever our skin touches the sun it's also one of the vitamins right so remember to enjoy the sun and also um, be grounded guys the angels say that God is with you during this moment of healing. And is there anything else, angels? They said that's it. So anyway, guys, we got four pals here. Number one is the seven of cups. Number two, six of cups. Number three, temperance card. And number four, judgment. Choose wisely. Don't base it on your ego or else it may not resonate. Let the cards call on to you. And if no card is resonating or calling in, don't force yourself. Probably within this week, it may not resonate. So let it be, okay? So is there anything else? Lisa, that's it. So anyway, guys, just post the video if you're not yet ready. And I'll proceed now with number one. Hi guys, for those who chose number one, which is the seven of cups, here is your reading. So we'll see what's going on with your person, number one. So here is your overall theme for this reading. You got thinker and then to be fair, blessed, and then chaos and conflict. This is in either way according to the angels. And then this is a leg up and then why? So I feel like your person is coming out of a difficult situation, but they are left in the cold by somebody else. I don't know whom it was, but I hope that we will may get the hint. But we'll check with the romance angels. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So we may know. How does a person of number one feel about them and how do they see their situation and connection together? I'm really sorry about the noise, guys. 
My brother is watching TV. The angel said to me that the heaven wants you to pray harder to God for this person because I feel like there's a tendency um, that this person might fall again into the trap of their ego and make the wrong choice again. So pray for them that they may, you know, choose the right path because I feel like they are being tested because there's a tendency that they may go again to chaotic um thing or they may get out of it and change themselves the cycle and so forth but we'll check with your tarot guys for further information angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with a person of number one commencing June 8 up to June 14, 2020. Prayers can help save lives according to the angels. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. What is the outcome? So the, let's see, okay. You will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. One more shuffle, they say. So, one more. They tell. So, the angels say the topic was tackled. Um, a lot. I feel like you can observe if you've been watching pick a card readings about your person. You will know already that this is already a cycle that has been happening for years even, for months. In some cases with your person. Like they are always stuck. Their career seems not moving forward. They always ended up with the wrong people. And I feel like you're tired of that kind of topic. But, you know, we can help by prayers. Prayers change lives, the angels say. It can bring people to life, the angels say. If you manifest great things in your life, the angels told me things will happen naturally and go in your favor the angels say so anyway this is your overall energy that's affecting the reading so with the community here i really felt drawn to that chaos and conflict probably you're dealing with somebody that easily get involved um, with alcohol or i feel like they also have traumatic past with their friends or family and some of them could be in the influence of addictions could be because of their friend group that can be but this person you know um is workaholic but then their life has been destroyed by people around them and i feel like within this week they might get influenced again and they can focus on work or I feel like even though they're focused at work, they can be influenced. That's the problem. Okay, They might encounter again thermal waters if they fall into the trap of their friends or whomever's the influencer here. Hilarion in reverse. 
So I feel like this person was still attached to those kind of people that are influencing them. Like um, they are very attached to the point that even though these people are hurting or these people are a destructive energy of their life, I feel like they chose to stay with the wrong friend group or influencer that they had. And I feel like God is showing them signs that they have to let these people go because these people are those people that made them cry or those people that put them in a difficult situation. And I feel like... um. They can heal, they, they can accept the cup of God or the cup of love that the divine is showing to them. And if ever they manage to accept it, that is a time wherein they will release, they will come to realization that whomever these false friends are, are really toxic in their life or someone that is um, a distraction of their inner peace. I feel like most of them has childhood issues and they really want to belong. Could be they feel that they belong in that certain group, but then um, this certain group is not really healthy. They are toxic for your person. And this person that you're asking about has a good loving heart, but then sadly because they got involved in wrong partnership or even friendship, I feel like it's more on friendship that they got involved with um this beauty that they have within is not shown and they might choose again the wrong people they might um because i see this take okay this person still holding on to the friends that are really negative in their life so there's a tendency that they may still hold on to these false people rather than opening up their heart or accepting who they really are. Probably they are adopting the attitude of these wrong friends that they had. And I feel like their intuition is at work and even the divine is trying to wake them up realizing that they have to make their life in order because they are in this disruptive world. They are world sorry they are they are not really um what they call this they are not really with their friends or people that are um good for them and they are turning away from god from the teachings of their family even or if ever they will fall again with these people the heaven is telling them you will um lose everything that you work hard on because they are workaholic as you can see here probably these people are influencing them to use their money for something that is not really good that's also what i get and they might encounter another downfall if it's about relationship um they may encounter somebody who eats their money um but then this is another a failure connection like it's not gonna last forever because i feel like they might encounter people that's after their money and after they got it from this person they will be left again i feel like they have dreams about it to warn them about this certain friend group that they need to distance themselves about but i feel like these people are influencing your person that they are good friends with the ten of cups and they are somebody that wants your person to accelerate with the six of wands i feel like these kind of people are great with their words to persuade your person but the heaven is trying to help them up wake them up to release themselves from this type of people but i feel like for some of them they are fighting whatever the heaven is telling them okay and i feel like if they chose to listen to these certain friends they will encounter another heartache hardship in their life okay and they will hurt themselves like things will repeat again in their life if ever you know that it has been happening to them ever since that they always have a downfall with regards to 
money they always have money issues or if not money could be relationship now this is the outcome so journey so i feel like if ever they will fall into the trap of these certain people what will happen is that they will just um, follow these people without thinking and they will end up being burdened again because these people that they encounter will hurt them, will use their money or manipulate them and that is just not on their side. Like They will encounter a lot of money issues, problem, connections could be somebody cheated and they will again not push things forward or not accelerate in terms of career or even in relationship if ever it's a relationship the angels say of course one of the outcomes will be they will fall into um, a heartache they will not allow have a lover in the future because it will break apart and if ever they made a wise choice, the angels say, um, they will be at peace, they say. Okay, but the heaven is currently helping them to choose this path instead of running towards um, whatever these people are saying to them or take an action without thinking first. So I feel like they will think about it. They will acknowledge what the heaven is showing to them. And they will be at peace and harmony. So the next outcome will be the architect. So again, if ever they fall into the trap of their their friends, I feel like if it's a business venture, it will not go well, I feel. And this is in reverse because I have a feeling that currently right now they didn't see it, you know, being this way. It's about to happen, but if it will happen, this will turn like this, okay? And then the next outcome is a loving elemental. So I feel here that some of them will not give in because they have a lack of money. I feel like they're afraid to take the risk, especially if they only have less money. Probably these people are pushing your person to invest, but then they can't make it. I feel like they haven't really the doctor abundance so they can go after whatever these people are telling them. Next outcome is the willow. So I have a feeling that for some of them, I feel like they will take a risk with regards to love life. But unfortunately, it will turn into tears, okay? It's not gonna be the grass is greener on the other side, no. Okay, they will encounter pain by offering again to the wrong person and they will end up not having money again. So the next outcome is the garden. So what I'm feeling here is that I feel like if ever they chose not to be um, getting involved with their friends or even to a partner, because I feel like for some it could be about love or it could be about friendship that is encouraging them to go or try a certain business venture. But I feel like they... They might not get involved. They will rather choose to mind their own business and, you know, set themselves free from these people that are pushing them to get along with them or a girl or a guy who's trying to seduce them. That can be. So we'll see. Just pray for your person so they won't fall into this kind of, you know, temptation. But we'll see with your charms what it will say to us. I feel like the heaven is calling them to break the cycle because I feel like it has been happening for them repeatedly. The angels say, and I feel like the heaven is trying to give them some awareness and is helping them on their part, whether they're religious or not. Because I feel like if ever, um, I feel like if ever it's about love, somebody seducing them, 
Okay, that's what's going on. And I feel like this girl or this guy is really, you know, putting an effort by could be showing their body or influencing them in, in such a way with passion i feel because i feel like if ever it's about love they could be player types okay and they easily get um fall in love with people that are beautiful with this mirror here and i feel like your person could be someone that thinks that that person is loyal or could be for some of them if they're not players they could be loyal but they get influenced if somebody is beautiful or handsome while some of them could be still player type and this is again a test of fate from the universe but i feel like the heaven is calling them to put this to rest to to don't mind it and realize what happened in their connections or in their life that's repetitive and i feel like so for some of them it could be about a business venture or could be they are influenced by drugs or alcohol can be and the angels say if they manage to put this to end or put this to rest um they will accelerate in terms of career because I feel like they have been working with their money, they say. But if ever they chose to be with these certain people, I feel like they will encounter again um, madness in their life or chaos. The angels say they're being called on by the divine to make wise decisions. I feel like this is a test, the angels say. But even if it's a test, the heaven still is helping them. To make wise choices, I feel so that they may put an ending to the cycle or break whatever negativity that they encounter. I feel like um, the heaven is testing them if ever they learn something from their past because I feel like it already happened in their past. They just made a wrong move and it happened again now. Um... And the heaven is testing if they will fall into the trap. So this is the romance angels. So in terms of your connection, I feel like if it's about love, I feel like you're not expressing your love to this person. And this person is aware that you already move on from them. You release your energy. You realize that they could not be the one. But I feel like um, they think that you're closer to God or you're someone who's religious and you're someone who's helping them out to cure their childhood issues or to make them in a lighthearted. I feel like you could be a friend that's watching this not really about love. I feel like it's only for a less of you that this is about a lover. Or you could be asking about your twin flame because most twin flames are still in the dark. So, you let your friends help you. I have a feeling that this person thinks that you guys are not friends anymore. Could be this is your ex or just asking about your ex. Just take what resonates, guys. So, I have a feeling that you guys have a past together for some of you. And they're still in love with you, I feel. If ever this is about a lover and they are still hurt from the separation because they see you as the one and they remember how I feel like how foolish they have been, especially if they are players, if they played with your heart. Because they remember, they reminisce the moments that you guys had and they see you as the one. But unfortunately, you guys break apart, especially if this is your ex. So we'll check with... For some of them, they might choose the wrong partner. Okay, just pray for your person, please, guys, to help save them. So this is the overall theme. You got chaos and conflict. So the angels say things will repeat again if they got influence. But if ever they won't get influence, the angels say 
or they come to realization that this is a repetitive cycle and they break off, then congratulations, they will manage to not repeat the cycle and break it off, the angels say. And the heaven is awakening them by showing them what happened in the past, why things didn't go well in their past, and so forth. So they may have this awareness that things are moving in circles or in cycles in their life. And the only way to break free from this chaos and conflict is to not fall again to wrong choices, okay? So if ever this is about your ex or a lover, I feel like they are remembering you a lot and they are thinking how blessed they are that they have you in their life. And for some, they are thinking how foolish they have been to play or cheat. I, I think that they are seeing you as a good person because you are somebody that's fair or honest and they can't stop thinking about you if this is a lover or an ex. So anyway, this is the Seven of Cups. So I have a feeling here that within this week, they are going to be influenced by certain people and wish them um, that they may not fall again to this so they may have their life in order and if ever you can you can preach in social media to help these people because to be honest guys i got this also pile for my twin flame the angels direct me in this reading or showed me that this is my pile because I feel like they want me to pray for my twin flame so he may not go again to this certain kind of situation. And in our end, all we can do is pray. And until now, even though we are far away from each other, I still preach in my social media account. So if ever he will tackle on to my account, he can be able to be enlightened on what he needs to do in his life. So I feel like in your end situation, you may post something that will help your person, okay? Um, we shouldn't just depend it on heaven. On our end, we should help as well, okay? So if ever it's about a love connection, guys, you have messages here from your person. So should I clarify or not? The angels say, do not clarify, so I will just read it for you guys. So you got, our love will lead me to your arms. So I feel like this person is aware that you gave up already in the connection. And it's really up to you because if you are open to them, if you still love them, there will be a chance. That's what they want to say. Next is, I belong with you. So this is in either way because I feel like um, you don't really have feelings anymore for some of you. That's why I feel like it's in either way because if you won't give them a chance, they want to say that they may choose someone else. And then the next is, tell me that you love me. So I feel like they remain is... Um, the way that you say that you love them. I feel like this is an ex for some of you. And they remember how you say that you love them. Or they're being treated well when they are still in a relationship with you. And I feel like they are in pain. Um, knowing this. How you value them. And how you treat them very well. You open up my eyes. So... I feel like you're going to help this person to be awakened to number one. My heart knows you're the missing piece. This is in either way because I feel like they're trying to heal from you, especially if you won't give them a chance anymore. So I will just place the either way here, okay? So we may know which we, we tackle already that they are not sure of. All I need is your love. So I feel like they remember your love and they miss it a lot. All of my hopes fading away. So I feel like if it's about career, the angels say, um, some of them could be falling to the top of their friends or these people that are influencer. Probably these people are saying, try this. Probably it can help you bloom your money. 
and I have a feeling that they can get influence, especially if they are in a low vibration or they want an urgent, you know, money. I feel, but for some of them, they can't, okay? They can't give in to this temptation because they don't have money or they have less. Next is, it's an uphill climb and I'm feeling sorry. So I have a feeling that they want to turn it in reverse. They, they don't want a hardship anymore, especially if they have money issues. I can spell it out for you. It's not that simple. So I feel like this person want to say that they still love you and they belong to you and so forth. Any sweet stuff. But they don't know how to tell you, especially if you move on from them already or you don't want them anymore. Both of us lonely. So I feel like for some, this could be in reverse or either way, because I have a feeling that they think that you move on already and you're happy, but they're the only one who's lonely. And for some of you, if you haven't recovered yet from this person, this person want to say that both of you are lonely, that you don't have each other and you ain't faking. And I feel like this is what they like from you is that you're someone who's authentic. You're someone whom is true and honest and i feel like for some popular i don't know why i sense it and i feel like you're trying to uplift the vibration of this person that they can be like you are i feel like you're trying your best to help them out my love is real and i have a feeling that they really love you if ever this is a past lover they still are okay they want to say that their love is real but unfortunately, you know, they gave in to temptation for some of you. Anyway, so you got this as your advice. So you got trust and you also got look for a sign. So I'm sensing here that angels are wanting you to trust and have faith. Um that your person may not fall into the trap again of their ego or fall into the wrong decision but it will happen if you pray for them the angels say and trust the divine that your prayers will be heard and if ever you want a sign from heaven if they chose the wrong path or not then ask for a sign the angels say and i feel like you're being asked on by the heaven could be some of you might be praying to give this person a sign of what they should do okay you can also pray for it to help your person and the heaven would gladly to send this person some signs or an awareness that they might fall into the trap of negative friends I feel like you're the one who can save them too by prayers, the angels say. So that's what you need to do, number one, in order to save this person from falling apart again. And trust a divine that your pr prayers are heard. And I feel like you're being called on by the divine to send healing work to this person because I feel like they are very lonely of what's happening in their life especially if they have financial issues. Send forth healing, send forth strength, and love and light to them. So is there anything else? They said, they're still broken hearted from your connection because they finally see your value when you're gone. And if ever the case situation is that they haven't moved on yet from you, remember to pray for them for the healing. And it's time for both of you to move on and just make this as a realization or as something that we need to learn from. Okay, so is there anything else? They said that's it. So thank you for watching those who chose number one and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi guys, for those who chose number two, which is the six of cups, here is your reading. So let's see what's going on with your person number two. Now this is the overall theme that's affecting the reading. So you got imagine this is in either way they told me and then you got loyal heart and then time to go 
I don't know why it sends checkmate, but we'll see. So this is the overall feelings or energy of your person. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know how does the person of number two feel about them and how do they see their situation and connection i feel relationship together i don't know why i sense it probably you ask about your boyfriend or girlfriend but we'll check guys for some of you this could be about an ex-lover who can't get over you Because I sense the song, What If I Can't Get Over You. Should I write that song? It's just for a specific people that are encountering about, whom are inquiring about X. The angels say, For some it might resonate for the song. The angels say it's better to write it down. So I will write it down after I'm done with the cards. All right. So anyway, we'll check your tiles. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the person of number two commencing June 8 up to June 14, 2020. I feel like for some of you, you're frustrated with this person or you have negative feelings because my right hand hurts while I'm shuffling. But I feel like you're, um, I think it's your person's heart. Because when I shuffle, my heart pumped um, so hard. I feel like this person, some of them, if this is your ex, they're jealous of you, of your success, of your money, of what you've got. This is the overall energy that's affecting the reading, so what is the outcome? I feel like they're stuck on you, number two, if this is your ex. I feel like for some, that could be a karmic, toxic ex that you got in the past. But I feel like you already realize now whom you want to have. That's why you're not gonna fall into this um, ex. I feel like whomever your ex is, they see you as the one that they want to marry in the future. But I feel like most of you don't like this person at all. I, I don't really see that they're healthy and my head hurts a lot. Now we will clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. One more. Oh dear, my head hurts. This person I've been thinking a lot about you. Very obsessive feels that they want you. They want you back. I feel like they have sleepless nights thinking only this connection or the situation between both of you before. And they feel very obsessive possessive over you they don't want you to go i feel like they are trying their best to reach out okay one more they say i feel like for you this person is a pain okay so i will just write down your song number two all right so i was able to write your song I will read it to you later after I'm done with the cards here. So anyway, here is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So you got the wishes fulfilled reverse. 
I feel like you're moving on from this person number two. Because this person is very toxic, very controlling, manipulative. And I feel like you're tired of this person. I feel like on that relationship, um, could be this person use you for money. That's also what I'm getting here. And though you, you're tired, um, those days, you still try to hold on. But then unfortunately, you're, you don't want it anymore because of this person, you're not accelerating in life. Or this person use you for money. That could be. And I feel like when you walk away from your person, your burdens was gone. And I feel like for some of you, this person could be a cheater. They cheated on you. They lied on you and do something nasty. That's why, you know, you're forced to let go of this person. I feel like it's supposed to happen for you to realize that this connection is a burden. And this person is just using you for money. I feel like um, you're loyal to this person with the king of wands being here. Like even though this person has been nasty to you, you stayed. But then because, because you're holding onto that stick. Because if this is in reverse, you gave up. Okay, you're mad and then you gave up. But if this is in a pride, you know, in that connection, um, though this person is toxic, you still hold on to, to the fact that you guys are, um, committed to each other. Could be you're, you're in a relationship or even marriage can be. And just take what resonates, guys. But since this person walked away from you, that burden has been lifted away from you. And yeah, this person is not your wish. Like, they are someone who you can't be trusted. So anyway, first card is commitment. So yeah, you're in a committed connection. But you guys don't have this balance. Like, it's not a give and take connection. Probably the other party have been, you know, giving a lot and the other doesn't. Doesn't put any effort. Or the other could be cheater and you could be loyal. Just take what resonates. And I feel like you learned your lessons already. And you're single. You're moving on. And you're browsing your options after this um, heartbreak that happened. And I feel like... For some of you, you're still in the process of releasing or in a divorce phase. But you already made up your decision to let go of this commit commitment. Or um, I feel like the reason why you don't have money could be because you paid for the divorce. That can be because I feel like you're the one who pushed forward for the divorce to happen since you made up your mind already. That this person is toxic for you. And I feel like you're more on working on with yourself. You're focused on yourself, on healing. You're away from your heart or you're not looking for anyone right now. You're taking some time to, to rest or you need some money. Of course, if you will be in a divorce, I feel like you don't have much because could be you... You dealt with somebody that drained your money. That can be. And I feel like you're in a hermit mode. You're away from the world, from people. Because you're still healing from your heart. And I feel like you don't really show that um, to people that you're hurting. Or feel like people are aware. Your close friends are aware. Or even relatives that you're... You're moving on or you're very sad. You're depressed from your person. So I feel like with a chess game, for some of you, you met someone new after this heartbreak. You met someone new and I feel like this person, um, your ex is aware that you find somebody and they're very mad, upset because I feel like this person haven't uh, moved on from you, number two. And I feel like they're still crying about you. And with the Ten of Swords, they're still hurting because you're not 
by them and take these cards if ever you find someone new okay so i feel like they might discover if ever you have a new person they might discover that you have somebody else so this is the outcome so you got the two worlds so i feel like yeah you're the one who move on already from this person because i feel like could be this person cheated on you lied to you because they have this knight of one's energy they are in and out of your life they i feel like they might approach you and say that they changed but i feel like they didn't change okay they didn't change a thing they're still the angels say soul eater i don't know why i said soul eater probably they are energy vampires or there's someone that's just after your money or popularity so first material gain this person really made you cry or made you upset because when i shuffle the cards you still have anger with your person i feel i feel like you change already you decide to move on you let go of this person you let go of the idea that you guys are meant to be partners and so forth i feel like you're so tired and drained and some of you still cry about um, what they did to you probably it's really a traumatic connection that you encounter number two and this person's trying to manifest you back because they can't get over you and they think that they belong with you or they feel like you're still the one and they i feel like they can't really what they call this i can't recover from you i can't hardly speak probably their throat chakra is blocked from approaching you especially if you find a new person because the heaven is trying to block them to destroy your life again that's what i'm sensing because for some of you you you're used for money purpose or you're in this abusive energy I, I really don't like your person they are low vibe and i can't hardly speak whenever i sense their energy so i feel like you are intuitive and you know what to do is to release this person and you don't even see your ex as your treasure and i feel like for you they are disruptive they hurt you they put you in circles they put you on hold the angels say and i feel like you had enough you're very tired probably they manipulate you even by saying mean things to you or they discriminate you and so forth they they are hurtful okay that you don't have feelings anymore i feel like they hurt you drastically to the point that you don't have feelings for this person anymore and i feel like they're trying to come back to you so for some of you if you find a new lover already i feel like you will approach could be this week you could approach your new lover and i feel like whomever their new lover is they are somebody that's wise somebody who has money i feel like they gain um i feel like they gain your trust they see you as a trustworthy person and i feel like for some of you you could come off as the king of swords like you're trying to deny this connection because you got hurt but i feel it depends on your situation if you want to accept this person or not because i feel like whomever the queen of pentacles is is the energy of your person even though this is a guy um i feel like they are stable in their life they're grounded and i feel like they love you they they are understanding they are grounded and they're not gonna use you for money because some of you are afraid some of you are afraid that you're gonna be used again for money but you don't have to worry because whomever will approach you will never use you for money because they have money themselves okay they know how to how to make money and you could be a power couple with this person and i feel like within this week you're being called on by your guides please you know um release that flame or you know put water on that flame you shouldn't um close your heart just because you got heartbroken because some of you are still mad 
about、um, relationships. I feel like you're very tired of connections. And you're, you're living your singlehood. You're very happy. Being single is another outcome. So I feel with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like for some of you, your singlehood will be over because I feel like if ever you accept your new lover, you will be in a relationship. It's really up to you because some of you will still deny how you feel or you might cut this person. But I feel like you won't cut. Because I feel like the divine is trying to stop you from、um, cutting off the new person because they are a good energy. I, I really don't feel toxicity in your new lover. So I feel like it's a gift from the divine that they send you somebody that is loving, caring. I feel like they are charismatic as well. For some, they could be rich. Or they could become, they could be from a wealthy family. That's also what I get. They have money, so why would they ask money from you? So, for some, you might get engaged within this week. Just take what resonates. It really depends if you accept this person in your life. One more, they say. I feel like whomever this is. Okay, this wise person, they say that they are not cheaters. The angel says it's very safe for you to love. So, anyway, here are your charms. So, I feel like whomever will come forth is somebody that's a nurturer, okay? A giver, even the angels say, because this also represents that. And they could have nice chests for some. And anyway, I feel like you're doubting this connection because you. You are blocked, or you tend to put your blindfold on, or you tend to put a blindfold on your heart because you don't want to be heartbroken again. But the angels say they are assuring you that this person is loving and caring and nurturing, and they are definitely a marriage material. And for some of you, if you accept this person, you might get engaged within this week. If you accept them as your lover, because I feel like you're deeply in love with this new person. I feel, I feel like you're the lucky cat. Like, you're lucky with regards to money, but you're not lucky with regards to love life for some of you. But I feel like this time around, put to rest that kind of mindset that you're not lucky with regards to love life because I feel like they haven't sent you somebody. That you really like, and I feel like for some you're still mad with the wrong person or your ex lover that you put an ending or an end of a cycle is here. Like, I feel like you become mature, I feel like you're a mature person, and that's why you're gonna attract somebody that's mature like you are because it is here. There could be a huge age gap here for some of you. Or if ever this is a young energy, they are mature beyond their years, okay? So I feel like you could be secretive because based on your reading, I see that you're focused on your work and you don't really tell people that you're hurting within, okay? And feel like, I feel like for some of you, you're really in love with a new person. But don't fall into your ex because I feel like your ex is not really a good person for you. But unfortunately, I feel for some of you, you might fall for your ex. The angels say, so please don't fall for your ex. They are lying that they changed. So anyway, this is the、um, feelings of number two of your person. So, I feel like your ex s e e you as the one. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like you have a new lover as well. But the i n v e n t is saying to you, please forgive the past. Because I feel like you might end up closing the door to your new person if you always remember your past hurts and pain. They tell me, and I feel like your past person is very defensive or somebody that's forcing you to go back to them. 
by seducting you could be. Okay? And I feel like with the separation, I feel like this is more on your ex. Your ex is hurting when you guys separated. But I feel like you don't trust your your ex because of what happened. Probably they are cheaters. And they are liars. And I feel like you're more um, drawn to your new lover. I feel like you're in love with that new lover of yours and you're willing to put an effort to your new lover. That's what's going on. And I feel like your ex is so aware that you don't want to talk to them. Probably you block already this ex because you're optimistic about your new lover. I feel like you're too focused on your new lover. You're so in love with them, I feel. But I feel like currently right now, you have finance you're focused on money because you have some issues with money. Could be you just um, paid for the divorce, so forth, okay? So you're lovable, River. So I feel like you see your ex as someone not lovable. But I feel like this ex is against your new lover. If ever they know, they are very upset when they see you with somebody else and you're in love with this new lover. Wow, I feel like you're very in, in love with a new lover. I feel like um, this also romance angel is also about your new lover. I feel like they love you too if ever you ask about your new lover and free yourself. So the divine is saying to you, please free yourself from this toxic ex. The, they're not um a marriage material and they could not be considered as your friend because they might... um. They might do something to your new lover. Okay, so please release yourself from this ex. And I feel like your ex somehow haven't recovered yet from you. They haven't released themselves from the connection. That's why they're very possessive over you. So anyway, this is your overall theme. Number two. So you got time to go. I feel like this is your energy. And you're a loyal person your ex before but then when they cheated or when they lied to you they broke your heart i feel like you let them go because i feel like you're very tired of them okay and you need to breathe and i feel like this person still holds on to you but you already don't want them you can't even imagine a life with them because they keep on breaking your heart you have a good heart and this person doesn't. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like the one who got your heart is your new lover because I see a face here. Probably this new lover is your rebound or this new lover is helping you to, to re realize your worth or they're, they're more uplifting energy because they're grounded. And I feel like they... They could be healing your heart because you're focused on them based on your romance angels. And I feel like within this week, with the Six of Cups, this could be either way. Really depends on your situation because I feel like there's a tendency that you might deny your new lover. And for some of you, you may accept. So within this week or if not within this week, probably near future, I feel... You might propose or your new lover might propose to you because I feel like you're deeply in love, inspired. I really sense how you feel with this new lover, that they treat you very well. They're in love with you too. I feel like both of you share the same feelings, which is really great. So by the way, this is your song. So I feel like it came from your ex and your ex want to say to you, this is a song from... Lady Antebellum, what if I never get over you? What if I'm trying, but then I close my eyes and I'm right back? Lost in that last goodbye. What if time doesn't do, and it's supposed to do? What if I never get over you? So I feel like they never get over you yet, because I feel like whomever this is needs to grow up, needs to come to realization that I feel like what they need to learn is they need to handle with care those people that are really loving people because I feel like you're 
This person took advantage of you. Could be money, could be sexual, whatever it is. And I feel like they don't know how to handle you properly. And I feel like they need to learn their lessons. So anyway, here are their messages for you, number two. So the angels say some of the messages are from your new person, if ever you have a new person. So should I clarify? The angels say clarify everything. Um, no? They said no need. Okay, they... Okay, they changed their minds. So I will just read it for you all. So you got, I can't fight this feeling anymore. So I feel like this is from your ex, toxic ex, that they still have feelings. But I feel like if ever they know that you have a new lover, they are hurting. They're so bad that you have somebody else. That's what I'm sensing. I really don't like the energy when I hold that card. Your name resound in my head. So I feel like your new lover felt drawn to you because I feel like you guys are meant to be together because I feel like this person will help you heal your heart, will rise your vibration since they are not toxic. They know how to handle you well since they have their own money. They know how to grow their finances and they are independent. They're not someone who's so clingy or too dependent. I feel like <laughs> this single hood will be over because you find your match. I feel it is really great. Congratulations, number two. Loneliness starts to go. So this is from your karmic ex that they're very lonely without you and you got I'm changing. So I feel like they want to say that they change even though they're not because I don't really see that they're still toxic. I feel I knew what my life was all about. So I feel like it's again your toxic ex. Probably they want to persuade you that they change or um, they are not the same person. So you may stay. My love is just for you. So I feel like this is again from them. They're trying to make you, make you stay. So don't fall into their trap. Don't um, fall into that same cycle again. Number two, please, the angels say. So anyway, here are their advice for you so you got to remain positive. So I feel like this is about you and the new lover, that you have to be positive with regards to your new lover and know that this is not your ex, okay? They're very different from your ex. They're a loving person. And I feel like they're very abundant. They... This is also a representation of the Queen of Pentacles here. Like they're so abundant and I feel like they are not even greedy. That they're willing to give you what you deserve. And I feel like they, they are also a gift from heaven is what I'm gonna say. Next is Ask Your Angel and it's up to you so if ever you're so cautious that you might get hurt again then pray to god ask for a sign if this is the one but i feel like they keep on showing you signs already and it's really up to you if you want this person or not because you have a tendency to deny this person even if they are the right person for you so don't miss this opportunity the angels say they send you the right partner to marry the angels say and it's really up to you if you want to accept okay so is there anything else they said recover from your ex and remember that through the pain there comes a rainbow okay and the rainbow is your new lover he or she will, you know, sacrifice everything for you and will love you forever. And they are a gift from heaven. So please don't be harsh to them because they are lovable. I feel like they are one of your soul tribe because six cups also is a representation of soulmate, soul tribe. So I feel like there's really a huge age gap here. But I feel like both of you are you know are the same same loving energies here so i felt drawn to the lion sorry sorry i felt drawn to the lion 
I feel like you could be so mad with whomever hurt you. So take some time to heal. So you may not hurt your new lover, okay? So congratulations, Amber, too, because I see that you might get engaged or you might get a proposal or you might have a girlfriend or boyfriend within this week or within the next could be next week or near future okay so is there anything else they said that's it so sending you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number three which is a temperance card here is your reading so we'll see what's going on with your person number three commencing june 8 to june 14 2020 so this is the overall theme you got milk and honey young and then treasure island go the distance come to the edge and then higher power and then we'll check with your romance angels how does your person feel or energy with regards to this situation angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know how does the person of number three feel about them and how do they see about their situation and connection together i feel like um i feel dizzy could be your person is thinking a lot about you obsessive over you and i feel like for some they could have sexual desires as well i mean sorry guys i don't have any you know sexual tarot i don't have those so i won't elaborate what it is I feel like this person whom feel like somebody want to marry you and they want to have sex with you. I don't know why I sense it number three. But especially if you're dealing with a masculine figure, they are fantasizing of how it feels like to be with you. They really like you a lot, admire you from afar. I feel like they have a high sex drive with regards to you. Don't worry, it doesn't mean that they will cheat. But for some they could be. But I really feel that they have heavy attraction towards you. Not only sexual, but I feel like they do have feelings for you. Now we'll check with your tarot. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with a person of number 3 commencing June 8 up to June 14, 2020. I feel like for some of you, this person don't show their card yet. Or what I mean by cards is that they haven't expressed it to you that they like you. I feel like it's very hard to express these days. I feel like they want to say that. Your person, okay? I feel like they do want to say that they love you and they trust you. I feel like they like your energy as well. I feel like they could be an energy vampire sometimes, but I feel like they don't mean it. Probably they are wounded. That's why sometimes they might accidentally drain your energy. That's why I feel like they try to be balanced to be at peace so they will not drain your energy or they won't be a burden for you so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading so what is the outcome i feel like they want to have sex with you really number three i i really sense that oh my gosh Oh dear, I think that it's for the most. 
or all of you that this person really does have fantasies probably you felt drawn to 18 plus readings number three so we will clarify angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here one more I feel like they want to lie in bed with you. I sent some pictures of what they fantasize about. My gosh. <laughs> They're really in love with you. I feel like this is a new person. They have sexual fantasies. <laughs> oh, they also have um, this vision that they want to, you know, pull your aunties. <laughs> My gosh. Their sexual desires is very intense. All I can say is to describe how what I see. So anyway, here is... Your overall energy that's affecting the reading. So you got the treasure. I feel like, you know, um, this person um, could see you as somebody that just moved on from somebody. Could be. And I have a feeling with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this is more on your past. That somebody could have left you, could have cheated on on you that's why the will of fortune is here i feel like they're sending somebody that will take good care of you since you're the one who didn't cheat or you did something good in the connection but then you know um you didn't encounter greatness with your ex that can be so with the king of swords i feel like they're sending you somebody with a good heart somebody whom is intellectual but at the same time they have a heart they have feelings for you i feel i feel like you're aware that somebody's in love and suddenly i notice that this may form into an a heart if you don't see this okay i just noticed that so first card you got the uh, summer so i feel like this person could have a hard time to express or say to you how they feel um, or there are two colors of how they feel. But I feel like they will try, okay? They will try to approach you. They will try to release themselves from negative thinking and seeing you as a good person to have. Because I feel like you make them happy. Or if ever they are somebody that is a warrior or they could be having these low vibrations i feel like you're somebody that melted whatever their negativity is and i feel like that's why they like you that's what i'm gonna say you know the right words to say the angels say you're very expressive yourself and another thing why they fell for you because you're a good communicator that's what i'm gonna say so i have a feeling here that with a clearing the way i feel like you're seeing where this connection will go with your new person because you want to take it to the next level and i feel like your person too and i feel like one of you should make the move i feel and break the chains so you can go to the next level that's also what i get and then the next is diversity so i have a feeling that this person also has a deep feelings for you and seeing this connection to go into the four of ones but some some of you are shy and i feel like both of you actually are having a burden or having anxiety on how to tell this and i feel like the other party is planning just like what resonates who is planning okay who is planning to make a move because i feel like someone is planning here and with the queen of keys being here i have a feeling that whomever this is that liking you from afar is not really 
be happy with their life. I feel like for some, they could have been cheated on, lied to, or they could not have the money to gather yet. But this person is either your emperor or empress, and I feel like they are mature, but then they don't have the money yet. I feel this is very sad. I feel like for some, they're frustrated, could be due to COVID 19, that they don't. They can't even go towards you. Feel like they're frustrated with the situation. For some of you, it could be a long distance relationship too. And they can travel towards you and offer you something. So the next is the views of the ego river. So I feel like both of you are single. I feel like both of you resonate to each other. Like, um, if this is in a pride, you could be with somebody, but they don't resonate with you, okay? But if this is in reverse, I feel like both of you are the same. You're single and both of you are independent, I feel. And both of you are honest as well. That's why I feel like you're attracted to this person because they are authentic. And they are good with their words. They are good communicators with the pirate here. They know the right words to say. They are very expressive. If they love you, they will show. I feel, I feel it very authentic. I can hardly speak. I feel like it's you or them that's shy of saying something. Um, with the Ace of Wands, I feel like there's no new beginning yet because um, some of you. Whomever this is that's supposed to propose or tell how they feel, they don't have the money yet to make things work. I feel like they're working on with their finances could be. And they have sexual desires for you, your person. I feel here because their heart is open. They know that you're the one. They have sexual desires. And I feel like with the Seven of Cups, I think that they see you as a blessing from heaven and they're thinking because I see here that somebody is planning on how to make this work into four of ones to push this into a relationship because I feel like both of you knows that you are meant to be or both of you has the same feelings and you're holding on to this connection and I feel like um, for some of you it could be a long distance relationship like even though it's hard I feel like they are listening to their heart more than to their mind because the good news is that your views of ego is in reverse like none of you are egotistical like you focus on your heart your feelings it's what i'm sensing that's why both of you knows that both of you likes each other or love each other so this is the outcome you got hilarion so i feel like your new person really admires you from a distance so i feel like they keep on looking at your social media and even though they have a lot of options i feel like you're the one that they chose already and i feel like they're re releasing their old patterns or i feel like it's more on them releasing their negative thoughts that's what I'm sensing here. They have sexual thoughts. Like it keeps on repeating. Okay. So the next outcome is a waterfall. So I'm sensing here that they just go with the flow. If ever you're dealing with a girl, I feel like they will not make the move. Um, I feel like they expect you to be the one who will do the move. That's what I'm sensing here. And I feel like there's somebody who don't really like liars and cheaters because they are authentic. That's what I'm sensing. So please um, be authentic to this person. Because if you're somebody that's not, no, they, they will not like you. So the next outcome is a chess game. So I have a feeling here that... Some of you are afraid to propose because you might end up being broken hearted. So the angels say make sure that the timing is right because I feel like first some you want to rush in without thinking first. So 
make sure that you have everything together planned out. If ever you're the one who gonna propose, so the, you may not have this outcome. The angels say, well, for some of you, you're afraid could be of rejection. That's why you don't want to come forth. Next outcome is Archangel Gabriel Rivers. So what I'm sensing here is that if ever this is a feminine that you're dealing with, they're not gonna approach, they're not gonna say how they feel because they're waiting for this page of wands. They're waiting for you to make the move. That's what I'm sensing. And if ever this is a masculine, I feel like they are they dreaming about about this new beginning but they're not approaching yet. Probably they're still healing from something or they're still working on with their money and they think that they're still it's not the right time. But I have a feeling that they have sexual thoughts about you. I feel like for some, they could have a lingering ex around with this. Only for a few about... 5% they have lingering X around. So I feel like both of you, this is the next outcome, have the same feelings. And I have a feeling here that some of you are still indecisive. Some of you are still protecting your heart. Okay, because of what happened. But I feel like uh, for some of you, you want to give in to your feelings. And you want to accept the offer if ever your person will be the one who will propose so i feel like you don't have to be indecisive guys because your person does have feelings for you next outcome is the reflection so the angels say to avoid negativity because i really feel like you will not have rejection guys you will not have rejection it's not on your thoughts that you may fail but the ten of swords is in reverse it means that you will not fail you just need to try okay if you will be the one who will propose what's holding you back is your negative thinking so we'll check with the charms what it has to say so this come forth I feel like this person really want to marry you and I feel like they are observe, they're observing you from afar and if this is a masculine, they want to propose and want to have sex with you if the timing is right, the angels say because right now, of course, it's quarantine they can't be with you so some is long distance connection but they're willing okay i feel like this is representation that they really have sexual desires okay that's what i'm sensing here i feel like they're attracted to your looks they're in love with you for some of them they could have been seeing your pictures and saving it on their phone or laptop whatever it is see they're so in love okay and I feel like they want to travel the world with you or they see you as their world, as their charm. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like for some, you're very afraid could be of rejection that your person may not like you. But I feel like whomever this is, is a wise person and they're good looking, I feel. And I have a feeling that this could be your emperor or empress. But then some of them still dealing with financial struggle. I feel like they're still an emperor or empress even if they have financial struggle. But I feel like they're just showing you that they are wise, okay? And they know that they need to work on to with their money. For some, they're fixing their money first before they would propose if you're dealing with a masculine, okay? So, if ever they're not coming for it's probably because they're still handling money issues or trying to solve their problems at home could be. So, I feel like this person is a nurturer. That's what I'm sensing here um, with this charm. 
And I feel like they're so happy. I feel like they're so in love with you. This is how they look like um, when they're in love with you or whenever they fantasize about you. They're so happy. And I feel like they always remember those good times that they have with you. They haven't forgotten you. And I feel like there's somebody that listens to their intuition and listens to their heart. That's why they're aware that they do have feelings for you. And there's... I feel like this person could be destined for you if only you chose this person. The angels say. And they have a loyal, loving heart. They say, and I feel like they love the sense of humor, or they could, they could have a good sense of humor. They they are fun to be with, and I feel like they wanna send you a message, or some of them they wanna propose to you. And I feel like what's the blockage here? If is if you doubt the connection, the angels say. So I feel like the negative thinking here is the blockage that makes you know your connection um seem like not working and i feel like both of you are intellectual and i feel like your person could be good with their words and that's what makes them attractive so anyway here is your romance angels about their energy so i feel like for some of them they can still go towards you because they have money issues but they do acknowledge that you guys have a good chemistry together and for some compatibility as the angels say and they see you as the one and i feel like for some of them they just release their karmic or they just release somebody in their life and i feel like they made up their mind that you're the one that they like they are attracted to you i feel like they really does have sexual fantasies over you i feel but i feel like the blockage here is that they doubt they have trust issues and i feel like they're working on you know forgiving the past and be more trustworthy and for some of them, they have money issues and they concentrate with their career. So I told you that for some of them, they might have um, ex, okay, that is lingering around. And for some of them, they could have fantasies of having you. That's what I'm sensing. Or, you know, having sex. I feel that it, <laughs> that's it, okay? So with the children and retreat, I do feel like this person could have kids or if not kids, they could um, want a child with you. That's what I'm sensing. They're just sad that they can't yet go towards you, especially if it is a long distance connection. They're very sad about it because they already know you. You're the one that they want. They already made up their mind and all they need to do is to make the effort or propose to you say how they feel but they can't um due to what's going on in the world or it could be they have money issues so if ever they're not approaching you they think that the timing is not right and the angels say make sure that the timing is right so it will go um beautifully because if you rush things you know um it may become to a rejection so Remember that everything is in divine timing. So you have to be patient, number three. All right, so this is your overall theme. You got come to the edge. So I have a feeling here that some of you just got into, could be someone just got away from a breakup, that can be, and some are still healing. But I feel like whomever encountered a breakup i feel like this person wanna rescue whomever this is like they wanna be the rebound they wanna be the nurturer they wanna nurture the heart because i feel like someone will propose i feel like you see it coming already because i feel like both of you are attracted to each other and <laughs> i feel like there's sexual thoughts really here because with the milk and honey yeah there is okay and 
they're on fire. <laughs> they're in love with you and they want a new beginning with you and they daydream about this. My gosh. Do you see as their ten of cups? They're so in love with you, number three. So anyway, this is your um your choice, right? Temperance. So I feel like this person realized that both of you have a good connection together. The chemistry is great, compatibility as well. And unfortunately, I feel with the crown, you have crown also in your charms. If ever they have money issues, they will go towards here first. They will fix their issues before they will accept you, okay? So it may take some time, number three, but slowly but surely, um, let it be, okay? Let your friendship grow into a relationship. They say, keep your hopes high, the angels say, because this is a good person for you. So anyway, here are their messages for you, number three. So should I clarify? They said no need. So I will just read it for you all. So you got, I just can't erase these memories of you. So I feel like they really remember those moments that they had with you. And I feel like they really sexual fantasize. I don't know why it comes forth when I hold these cards. Oh dear. Probably they keep photos of you and then... <laughs> Oh, do you know what? <laughs> and then we will make it through. So if ever they have problems, I feel like they want to say, please don't give up because we will make it through. We will make things work, especially if it's a long distance relationship. They want to make it work, the angels say. So the next card is everything's easy now so they want to say that if everything's easy now they want to approach they want to make it work i feel like if ever this is a masculine they want to propose if everything's easy now in their financial issues or any issues that they have so set me free. I feel like this is about their lingering ex. They want to say that they're trying to set themselves free from whomever this lingering ex is. And this will be one of those boring games. So I have a feeling that this is what they want to say to their ex. Like they're sharing to you whatever they are conversating to their ex. So you will trust them. That can be probably there's somebody that's open. Like if you are in a relationship with them, they are willing to show to you their messenger or whomever they talk to. They are open to it. Um, I feel like they want you to trust them or know their true colors. The angels say that they're not somebody who will go back to the ex, who will be a cheater or a liar towards you. So next is I need to breathe. For some of you, if ever they really have um, problems right now, they need some time to, to breathe or they need some time to heal, can be, or to solve the issue or the problem that they currently have. Next is, I'll wait for you, my loves, especially if this is a long-distance connection. They are waiting, okay? They're waiting for the perfect time, and they're patient with this. Take time to realize. So, if ever you're not sure with the connection, they want you to realize that you guys are meant to be, or you guys share the same feelings, you guys have compatibility, because... I feel like they remember you a lot. And they know that you guys, I feel like they feel like you guys are meant to be. I feel, and that drives them crazy. That's why they're loyal to you, I feel. If ever you have another card, that could be a loyalty card or loyal card can be. So next card is you're not for me. So I feel like this is what they want to tell their ex, that they're not meant for their ex. Okay, because some of you could be, you're aware that they really does have a lingering ex. But I feel like they want to say to you that their ex is not for them. 
and they need to breathe from this x. They don't like the x, okay? Whomever that is. So don't worry because you're the one that they like. And they're gonna wait for you. Especially if there's distance or especially if the COVID-19 make you separate from each other. So next, don't surrender because you can win. So yeah, they are in love with you and they don't want you to surrender. Hear my loneliness and hold me up so high. So for some of you, they could have some problems. That's why they need to breathe and they're sad because I feel like they can't go towards you probably because of these problems, probably because of COVID-19, whatever it is. But then they want to say that how much they care for you, how much they love you, and they acknowledge that you hold me up so high. I feel like this is this one like even though they are in trouble some i feel like they see you as their happiness they see you as their joy like whenever you send them a message could be that makes them happy <laughs> i feel like i feel like they're smiling whenever you send them a message but please don't bombard them with messages especially if they are problematic just do what you're being called on to do, the angels say. But if you know to yourself that it's not yet time for you to make a move or this person struggling, please, okay? Don't be harsh to your person because they need to breathe and they need to solve their problems. So anyway, here are their advice for you. So the angels say, if you're going to have one more card, it will be, I love you, the angels say. So anyway, you got this. No, so I feel like it's about um, you if you want to rush things forward. If the angels say, this is a sign that you shouldn't rush. Especially if your person is, is struggling. Because I feel like they feel very defeated right now and they have problems. So right now, it's not a perfect time to propose or to force them to be in a relationship. Because they are in trouble. So perfect timing. So the angels say they will send you signs if the timing is right. They say. But then I feel like both of you really has... um. I feel like compatibility or chemistry together. That's why you felt drawn to each other. And don't worry because on divine timing, you will be in union, the angels say. And don't take COVID-19 as something bad because I feel like it's helping both of you to be ready for this, the angels say. And if ever distance is a matter, don't worry because, you know, you will still be together or i feel like the divine will make it work so you will see each other um the next is you're ready so i feel like with you you're ready but unfortunately your person about the reading itself i feel like they're not yet ready they have lingering uh, um sorry some of them have lingering x around around five percent of them could be and some of them still have money issues. So the angels say, yes, you're ready, but your person is not. So please wait for them. The angels say, no need to worry. And then at the right time. That's why you got a double no. So if ever you're a masculine, you want to propose right away. It's not the right time, guys. Okay? They have some money issues, and for some of them, they have a lingering X around, but don't worry, okay? Both of you feel the same way, and feel like there will be a chance in the future. They will send you signs, don't worry. When will the perfect sign? But I feel like some of you, you are meant to have kids with this person, because I don't know why... I'm sensing a pregnancy here, but I feel like if you really want a baby, I feel like you will have with this person. So, is there anything else? They say that's it. So, anyway, congratulations, number three. And please be patient with the timing, guys. So, it won't um, be a disaster. And, of course, this week is not a perfect time, they say. Just relax and be prepared. <laughs> okay, so is there anything else? They said that's it. So thank you for watching. Those who chose number three and sending you all peace, love, and light. 
拜。